All right, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back. And let's get the fun stuff out of the way first. So I've been playing Hearts of Iron for for most of the week. This game, and yeah, was um, reconquering Europe for that time being. I'm not sure I'm doing it 100% correct because um, most of the times those games tended to just stall out as soon as I entered a two-front war which you know being German you just have to do at least two fronts and um, yeah so it was just becoming a stalemate all the time doesn't matter if it was the Red Army or Poland supported by the British and the French well, anyhow, um, so that was a lot of fun. Great game. Can only recommend it. And then this morning I was um, finally getting back into Magic and I wanted to record. And the session started pretty bad because um, the first game I lost to a disconnect. So I had to drop that one. And then after that one, uh, we actually played against. One of our, our own was on our exact Crixus Bolas this year with these two boluses in there. It was great fun. I, for my part though, was changing things up. And I was playing Blue Moon and I won, but just by watching the deck play out again, I yeah, just wanted to play the deck again. So here we are. Ah, let's just jump in. You guys know what's in the deck. It's super strange that there are only um, 449 players here. Don't know why that is the case. Um, of course, that it's better in a couple of ways because. Um, diversity is a little bit narrowed down and therefore our bad matchups will come up more often. Andrea 94. Andrea. Long time viewers of the channel. Well, I don't have a channel for that long yet, but I don't know, three months? Four months? Yeah, I think like four months, five months? Doesn't matter. Um, no. That I lived in Italy for a while. Still have a couple of friends there in Rome. Just shout out to my Italian people. Just awesome country. Ah. Yes. Lava Spike. What else do you want to have? Um, yeah, we could Serum Visions here, but I really don't want to shock. I'd rather have him deploy another land. See what he does. And then hopefully run into a rice fall. It's so weird to play magic now. <laughs> like my fingers automatically go into different positions to micromanage huge armies. All right. So um, couple of options here. 
We don't know how many lands he does have. But it seems viable to me that we just go Rise Fall. Could of course also go with Jace. Boros Charm. Yeah. So we got a lightning bolt. Don't think that was really worth it. Hmm. Don't want to deploy Jace now because of, because of the Searing Blaze. Alright, so he doesn't have a Searing Blaze. And we could just prevent this from happening, but I don't see a reason why we would do that. Yeah, he's thinning out his stack for one, but. That is essentially not a problem. Especially not if he's drawing another land. So let's see. Opponents playing with the new artwork of Sacred Foundry. And he just lets it resolve. Interesting. So now we're pretty safe from. I think we're just deploying as much damage as we can, skimming on all the other stuff that we could be doing here. It's a little weird that he hasn't played anything for some time, and with not having played anything I mean like literally nothing, but lands. Okay, next turn we can kill him. And I think just having three spells should be quite difficult for him. Okay. <clears throat> okay. I would say that was rather unlucky by our opponent. Mulliganing and then drawing like six lands. Alright. Mm, so I want to have three more. I want to have all of these. Oh, this time we're playing this spell, by the way. <clears throat> Sometimes I have these hiccups. It's really, really weird. Just out of nowhere. Um, yeah, Lily can go. Nimble is alright, so is Colgans, but they're both not great. Jace can also just be one guy. No, we're still way, way, way up here. So, question is. <clears throat> Do we want to get rid of our cryptics? Yeah, we have enough counter magic all around. Discord yeah, should be fine this way. Definitely not. Risky, risky, risky keep. So our opponent snap keeps, therefore, I guess. This is 
it's not gonna go our way. Problems that we alright. I was gonna say potentially have to shock. So um I think it's still we just want to kill that one because monastery swift spear, even if you might have an island here. She definitely does have. Okay. Cool. So our opponent's desperately playing around counter magic. And that's understandable of course. We need him to break one turn though, otherwise we won't be able to get Kalitas down. So there's Eidolon. Eidolon is not a problem for a couple of reasons. I think we're just gonna cast Nimble here. So I think it doesn't have an instant here, which is bad because then all this spells just dead. By the way, have you seen how well? It's too risky. Like the possibility of him just having lethal here. It's too big. But we still won't be doing nothing. So if this doesn't draw him out, then he might just not have anything. Because this is now a two down clock, even without anything else. 
Cryptic command's not the best here. But he has to have something now. Okay. So he did have something. Yeah, so if he played uh, Kalita's last turn, we would have died as well. Um, Still pretty alright with most of this, except for maybe, like in that very situation, we drew that cryptic command. If that had been a Nicol Bolas, that would have been quite great. It won't always be helpful, but um, we still have six counter spells. I think that should be alright. Yeah, let's keep that. I'm gonna, since we have um, Shriek Maw, I'm not gonna fetch for red here. Just for blue. This turn one, he won't um, come around with this spell. Um, actually, don't want to book any of these. Basic Mountain is actually pretty bad for us. I like Shreemo. It's a great card. Alright, double Swift Spear. Could become a problem. So the question now is, are we going to shoot, shoot down, yeah, I think, we're just going to shoot that one down now, it's probably best. All right, so I think we got him good. And now we're following things up with the Kalitas and see where we are going here. So he might have to double spell Kalitas because otherwise he probably won't be able to win this. It's still gonna be a rough game here. Still gonna be rough. Could also rise Shriek more, of course. But I think having Kalitas next turn again might 
might be worth the risk. So we're going down to five. And we do have a dispel. So that probably should be no surprises here. Let's see if he bore it um, path, but we didn't show him the Kalidas last game, and therefore I don't think that he does. So the signs should be on the wall here. So let's see if he shot that one just gonna bolt him. He's gonna go after bolas. That doesn't make any sense, right? Like how is he gonna win? I mean, sure. Whatever. Just good old burn. And as someone has stated before, it actually has become a quite alright matchup. Like, usually, Grixis was always. <laughs> Actually, when I first moved to uh, Italy, I was playing against an Austrian dude who was also playing burn. Uh, he's half Austrian, half Italian. And the meta in Italy is just so aggressive. It's insane. Southern people love their aggressive decks. And I hope that's not a prejudice. Um, can comment below if you know I'm mistaken with that. But that's just what I observed. Um nope. Hopefully a, a nutrition based matchup. Building drawer. Looks like it's over. Damn it. Yeah. Rough them out. So it's either Scalding Torn or Liliana. I think this can also name. Yeah. 
probably scouting Jordan. Unless he does have a filter foundry in her hand. And here certainly, um, yeah. Certainly, it's also spyglass is way better. Like, if he's coming around with a. Alright. <laughs> Honestly, by now, no clue what's going on. So, of course, our opponent might also be playing the likes of Tezzeret or something like that. Um, what did he discard though? Snaring Bridge. So, and Snaring Bridge still doesn't mean anything really. Bottled Cloister. Now the question is at the beginning of your upkeep, return on cause, uh, then draw a card. So if we counter that ability with our Nimble Obstructionist. And then afterwards, kill bottle cloister with snapcaster mage. I think the card should remain exiled, and therefore we're going to do that. Okay, and then it's fair first, and then we're going to counter this. So a different option here would of course be to just try and raise him, but uh, on the one hand he does have Inventor Sphere, on the other hand racing a deck like this where you don't necessarily need... Oh, fuck. That was quite a top deck, probably one or two of in his deck. Kind of ruin, ruins our plans here, otherwise we would have an amazing turn there. Getting a bit of bottle closer, getting our nimble back.
So there's a chance of us drawing a could of course also we cannot track it yet. So I think we're just returning the bottle cluster here and hoping to draw a thought seize. Okay, another K command is also alright. Because that card will remain in exile. That is quite interesting. Now he's going to lose everything. And we even have protection afterwards. Um, I probably should have used that Mishra's Bobble. We're going to play Snapcast Image by the end of turn here. And then next turn deploy Liliana, although we can't use her. But we still have access to... If he's not using the Torment script here... He's not playing around the most popular counterspell in Magic. At modern right now. I guess so. I think it's sad that oh, I should have played Snapcast Image by the end of turn. Totally forgot about that one. Uh, it's kind of sad that um, Lantern Control has be totally fallen out of favor. Lantern, I liked it. It's actually a great deck. Also fun to play against if you, you know, do have an interactive deck and aren't just doing your own stuff. Now we can crack that to Minosphere if you wanted to. Okay. We would have drawn a cryptic. Uh, would have actually been pretty good. Yes, we could have also attacked with Creeping Tarpet, um, but I want to have Snapcast Image up just in case we, there, like, Inventor's Fear or something gets sacrificed and...
See, and this is why Rise Fall is so great. Like, we're playing against an opponent that constantly doesn't have any cards in hand. Now we're just putting it to a completely different use. Amazing card. He didn't even do anything against it. So that gives us the ability here to um, stifle the Torment script, which he probably doesn't know. Therefore, next turn, that looks like Engineered Explosives for 4. No, just kidding. Yeah, hmm. I think we're just gonna go ahead here. Encounter something. Yeah, that was actually my mistake. I should not have tapped another land there. I was talking. <laughs> well. Laria West, looking for a zero mana spell. That is quite nice. And so if he pops at the engineered explosives, then at least we get uh, rid of that sorcerer spyglass as well. And for that reason, I don't mind playing it. This Inventor's Fury is such a strong card. Not Sphere, <laughs> Inventor's Fair. <sighs> Alright then, have it your way. Nicolo, it is you. So one more Call of command, two more Cryptics. That is certainly not good. Um, we should play Nicobulas now and just tick him up as soon as we can. Because now we're actually running out of time here. Beforehand, it wasn't necessary. Jace can also still win with milling. But if this thing mills us four cards a turn, and we're milling us ourselves, that's probably not gonna be good. Olas, on the other hand, only has to tick up three times. And this costs one well, three mana. Not a lot actually. Another bridge, great.
I don't think we can win by lightning bolting him. And we might still be able to bounce something, do something. Let's see. Um, okay, cryptic at least. There's color guns. So we're gonna be able to play it out of the graveyard next turn. Are you gonna what the fuck? So his name is Bolas. But that's not gonna keep us. And that's also not the correct name here. <laughs> so no matter. Um so we're just getting rid of crucible so this shit goes doesn't go on anymore. Um we can counter that. We're just gonna draw two cards. Could also just uh, it's probably This way we still have Snapcaster Mage Color Guns command up if we want to. Some cards in hand. And I think we might be winning with this Nico Bolas here. So I'm not 100% sure if we should counter this. But I think we're still going to do so. And then we're also going to kill um, that shit. So, what a shithole of a deck our opponents got there. What does this ultimate actually do? I said all about the bottom card of target. Alright. Since he doesn't concede, we can actually take a look. That was one click too late, my friend. 
So let's have a look. Tonic Edge, Wear of Invention. No planeswalkers, I have no clue how he wins. What the fuck is this? Is he trying to mill his opponent? Um, I mean, like all of the card that you don't usually don't want to see, but I have no clue what's going on here. So I guess terminate's dead. Instead, we want to have that one. Also, this one's probably dead as well. The Liana Last Hope does. Mm, Let's put it on hold, I'd say. She's not necessarily bad here. So, but this is 60, and I think this is actually pretty good. Motherfucker. So now he might be naming Bloodstain Mire. Though I'm not sure that does make any sense for him. But that way he will at least get rid of all logic not. Certainly was not what I expected. At the grid. Well, we cannot really get rid of that one. Except for with a cryptic command. Hmm. So after this shock, um, we will have to be a little cautious with our life total. Hmm. Yeah, I think. It's actually quite difficult. Um, I think it might be Lottie not here. Because I want to activate the Fulminator Mage as soon as we can. Yeah, he's going to ping us for one. Which is fine. But it does put a significant clock on us. Oh, there's a tectonic edge as well. Don't want him to see in the Colgan's command. They also don't want him to name Nimble or Polluted Delta. Therefore,
It's going to be a rough game. So he might be going for a tectonic edge here. But we can handle that one. And Jace is soaking damage, which is awesome. All right. So we definitely need to protect. Oh my goodness, no! I played it. No. Well, that was not intended. Also, oh my god, that was just horrible. Anyhow... That, that killed almost everything here. That is really absolutely horrible. So he doesn't have anything in hand though. And getting rid of Tectonic Edge might prove, prove vital in the later stages of the game. But this is... Without this fatal misclick here, probably everything would have been alright. So it's two damage a turn now. Never mind, he's still shooting four. So I'm still going for Sorcerer's Spyglass, not because of Fulminator Mage. Um, more because it's like the most... Actually, Torment Script might have also been a decent target there. Academy Ruins. I mean, we don't have anything else to do. Um, of course, he's going to be able to uh, play an artifact each turn here. He also missed the opportunity of pinging us for one again. We somehow need to get... Craftigus Cage. Alright. Good thing about this is in the short term it doesn't do anything. None of this really does. Okay, Spyglass doesn't do anything now. He can potentially just go for Scarling Tarn, but that would be some stretch. 
like that would yeah, I don't even think he has seen one in this game. Loot the Delta, yeah, close. Ta -da All right, now we have to turn this thing around. We so sheepishly. Another sorceress by glass. I mean, I don't actually care about another sorcery spy glass. Sorceress spy glass, excuse me. Because it doesn't anything, uh, doesn't know anything actually. Yep. All right. So first things first. This turn, we're gonna um, return Garapur at a grid. Then next turn, we're gonna go after Academy Ruins. So what we could do here is could kill this, make him discard. But I think we're going to be alright this way as well. Even discard Ethergrid. All right. So obviously, it's a word of invention for three, though. Might both be a bridge. Definitely not a cloister. It's a crucible, alright. That is not a big deal though. And there's only one polluted delta in this graveyard right now. I don't want to have any of these. Sure. So the problem here, of course, is this freaking Academy Ruins. With which... Because it's all redundant. Oh shit, we're at 8 minutes. Um, we have to play a little faster.
it doesn't have a bridge out yet. Theoretically, we could still race, though I don't see it. Not that we're for a lot this time. I actually think that I made a mistake. Oh no, I actually did not. So we're gonna play a little faster here because, first of all, we're ahead. Um, secondly, what did you just grab? Was that a crucible? I think that was the crucible of worlds. So we're gonna keep up our logic knot here, because next turn we can kill him. So I just want to be able to get rid of whatever he is going to play here. Spell bomb. Sure. This might be a little bit too much, but if we don't win next turn, we're not going to win this anyway, but this is just a send a sign. So now we should be lethal. Unless he has a trick. Yeah. Close one, close one. And we're deck. Whew.
it's weird that you don't have to have any win con actual win conditions, right? You could just strand your opponent, lance, spellbomb them to be to death. Definitely a mulligan. Still not a good hand. We're gonna keep in the hopes of getting another land here until turn three or a Serbians or a Jace. Oh, against humans. We can only hope that his hand is as bad as ours. Because our hand's really, really bad against humans. <laughs> Mulligan to five, but then a pretty good start here. Unless the other three cards are phantasmal images. So I already feel like Nicol Bola's not going to do anything for us this game. So I want to fetch this for a dual color. And since I don't want to shock and maybe play Snapcaster Mage into that meddling Mage, um, oh my goodness. Well, I mean, for a five card hand, that's amazing. That is just amazing. He's taken with everything, so that's good. Seven, eight. Okay, so I think you ran out of guard, gas, <laughs> guards. All right, so we can at least block one damage. Take seven, six. Double black or double red. Double black. Alright, there's a lightning bolt. So, in order to slow him down, what are we gonna do? So, of course. Red would have been better with one ring shroom rule and also lightning bolt, but black enables us to get like a Liliana down and maybe catch off all the other small creatures here. Also makes a lightning bolt better. So since I'm planning to use cryptic anyway, I think I'm just gonna have a look here. How good is Snapcaster Mage in this situation? Still pretty all right, right? So I think we're gonna signal 
by discarding Lightning Bolt that we're not playing it anymore. Then we're gonna tap bounce the meddling mage. Could also tap bounce champion of the parish actually. So that will probably make his place a little awkward. So we're gonna tap all creatures and still need to bounce something. It's definitely not good. Hmm. Shit. Shit balls. So if we play Nicole, so Thalia's Lieutenant is not a card here because Jace is just kills it next turn. So for one turn we're gonna take four damage. Unless he has another creature, but he would have to hit that off the top. I mean it's not super unlikely, but still. If he hits a creature, we're just dead. But we don't really have another play. And I don't wanna play the Jace here as well. There's not a big chance that we survive this next turn, not gonna lie. So let's see. Um just okay, well, we should be able to that was important. Come on, not a creature. So, okay. I think we're still in game here. Look here and here. Then do this. Let's go this. All right. Let's see. Don't want to do anything rash here. So a lightning bolt kills champion. Chase kills here. So, yeah, I think we could actually rise here. Rise Snapcaster Mage and Thalia's Lieutenant. 
so that our lightning bolt gets this champion and then the only top deck that kills us in this instance is a man's rider which he cannot play because he named illusion for that third land right so that's basically the card um, yeah so I think because of that Mantis Rider option that he theoretically holds we're just gonna go ahead here and ping instead of playing Luliana because like holding up mana here the ziggurat now you gotta smell those things so playing Liliana would have been a losing play now though we're still in it Everything exactly played out as expected. Certainly, that Thalia's Lieutenant is now 2 2 and not killable with our Liliana anymore. On the other hand, though, we do have a Snapcaster Mage rumbling around. Another in our pocket. Champion. Alright, I think we need one turn of luckiness now. Well, as normal, people call it just luck. Man's Riders or Death Sentence, anything else is probably alright. Reflect the mage. That's not such a big deal. Chase, sure. Did not want to play that anyway. So this one takes on that. Are we rising again? Yeah, I think we're rising, right? Rise, rise, rise is above. Yeah, sure, we could also rise our own Snapcaster Mage, but I do want to have a flyer in the field. And we don't really have some juicy targets in our graveyard except for the terminate that's going to come down but except for said mantis rider um, that we're hopefully, hopefully we're gonna protect with nickel bolas um, we don't really need an instant speed removal Ah, oh, was close one. All right, read more. 
my personal favorite here. Actually, um, Trigma is in here because of humans, because it's just the best removal spell, the single best removal spell you could possibly have against the human deck. Just amazing. I uh, don't know why I put in Formulator Mage, I'm just randomly doing stuff in the background. Um, so Call Against Command still fine, not great. Cryptic's bad, Logic Knot's bad, Chase is okay. Nimble's actually quite bad. This is all 2 mana, 2 mana, not 2 mana. I want to have thought seizes. So I guess two of these can come in again and two of these. Yeah, one has to say, um, as you can see most of the time with our decks or with our games. Um, not only are we always pretty low, but we always have to like use some kind of tricks to really get there. And this looks like a Thalia might be coming down, like no play turn 1 is unusual to say the least. Um, so I'm gonna go for Blood Crypt here. Pulls Bar Ruin, not really blue heavy. Yeah, there's a Thalia. As I expected. And then um, we find a lot couple of lands, we should be alright. So I probably want to discard Nicol Bolas here. So we can shock the Scalding Tarn for a black blue source. Alright, never mind. Ah, uh, it's still gonna be boss. <laughs> Just gotta survive a couple of turns here. Or even better, just find one more land. It will already be amazing. So this is quite weird. Um, yes, he does have a couple of weak cards in hand. But you would still rather play something than just crack something and not play anything. Shit. Man's <sighs> right is not good for us. Just needed to reduce the damage output there. So that was not the land that he had in hand, right? Yeah, I think there's just an ancient ziggurat and the reflector mage. Alright, so he's not even going for it here.
So the good thing about he might be willing to not go for Reflector Mage here. And if he's not, then we can kill a Mantis Rider. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to play our Snapcaster Mage from hand. Yeah. He still has that Ancient Ziggurat in hand, he's just unwilling to use it. Alright, so at this point I don't think that our opponent just not actually just not playing anything here um, because he knows about the Kalitas is not really where you want to be. So we're still going to play Kalitas, um, which will draw the Reflector Mage, and then we're going to take down Liliana and play Nico Bolas. That way... Snapcaster Mage is also a decent draw, though we don't have anything in our graveyard. It doesn't even do anything. So now you do have to produce a flyer and or 11 damage. Another reflector mage. All right. Well, that is quite. So I think we're gonna play this dude, then offer the trade. Yeah, he might just be blocking one, and then we go with the win here. <clears throat> All right, and off to round number four. We're actually not running that many removal spells. Like against a deck like humans, you really have to be careful. I mean, there's always a path to victory, but um, the way you're approaching it the way you're sideboarding, you know, you always have to have that in mind that you probably won't find more than two removal spells in a game. So you have to get rid of creatures in different ways and manners. Let's 
housekeeping. I knew it. I knew it before I saw it. I was like, all right, so, you know, hopefully this isn't dredge, otherwise we're good. <laughs> it's always the fucking same sad story. Now let's see if we're... Actually, my... The only way I think we are going to win this with him um, breaking two more turns and us winning with Jace. All right, never mind. So this is already over. Yeah, it's two insane draws. <laughs> and he three creeping shields. This is just bonkers. And the conflagrate as well. The most hideous matchup of them all. So we don't have a counter spell, therefore, if he just draws a card. Doesn't even need to draw a card. It can just flat out kill us. It's just insane. One turn. Shit, motherfucker. I hate this shit so much. Like, we couldn't play Liana there, because if we fetch, um, we just die to Conflagrate. Absolutely unnecessary to keep playing this. Thing is, I don't even like we cannot go with creeping top bit here, we need an untapped land. here but it's still not, not gonna be good enough there is a road to victory but or there was let's say but there certainly isn't anymore It's just insane. And that's just stupid. That's plain out stupid. To be honest. Um, he had everything. No need to do this. Just play land, attack with the Bloodgast, put us to four. Or attack with two Bloodgasts. Like, why don't you do this play before and then just conflagrate, you know? Pressure us with blood gas and then go conflagrate pulse board or whatever. 
Let's see. Oops. Yeah, so, um, you know, before this thing came out, um, Creeping Chill, I still disliked Dredge as a strategy, but at least, you know, you could get lucky and somehow win it. But this way, like, look at it, there's just no out. There's no way we can win this. Also doesn't feel like a game of magic. It's neither players playing magic here. So um is it Sadic Astros coming in? This dude's coming in. This this is also coming in. Um Nicole Bola certainly isn't gonna stay. Ricefall could have a spot here. Call Guns Command only because of Shrieking Shriekhorn. But other than that, sure. so I think. Um, Rice fall out. Corner squall in just because of the damage. And then we're not gonna go. For the long game. We're just gonna try to race. Oh shit, I left Logic not in. That was not my intention. Can I still do it? So the problem here is we, yeah, we could mulligan, of course, but for what? Surgical extraction is not good enough by itself to warrant a mulligan. So they only go. Good news here is that he doesn't have a dredger yet. So it's only going to be a blood gas and a prize amalgam turn two. Fucking two. All right, surgical, you're sadly a little bit too late, but we might still be getting this. So Lily is not relevant, but this one is. Alright guys, apparently we're not done yet. So there are four faceless lootings in this graveyard. I think we're gonna get rid of prized amalgam next turn. Then surgical it, block blood gassed. 
take three. Then kill all of that shit, flip Jays. Make it happen. That three blood gas in his graveyard. Well, does that change anything? No, it actually doesn't. The worst thing is that creeping chill, you know. You, oh, 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 no, no. I was gonna say you can. Alright, so we're gonna take another three next turn. He's uh, gonna have Fifal Suiting right now. So, huge stretch next turn. If he finds a conflict rate, we're straight up dead again. Um, So up until now, there's no conflict rates. So we know that he has... Okay. I think we're just going to play this one tapped. To not straight up die to a conflict rate. Then next turn go after the blood gas with our surgical. Alternatively, Could go after like we could just kill knock amoebas go after nature's uh, not nature's claim That's conflict rate. Yeah, so um, we might have to. That will put us down to three. And blood gas gas are still gonna return every fucking turn. Mage. Okay. So he doesn't have a fetch land, which enables us to do this right now. Hello. Yeah, my roommates just fucking turn off the wireless LAN. I'm so close to explode.
All right, we're hopefully back. All right, so all right, so what we wanted to do is kill all of these, get back our surgical. Surgical is shit. Gone. Actually, that's not what we wanted to do. Shit. Now I fucked it up. See? Because of that motherfucking... Disconnect. Because we actually wanted to go after the conflagrate, as I explained beforehand. So, um, he's gonna conflagrate here, then it's over. Oh, yeah. So, I'm gonna tell you you can bring Anger of the Gods, you can bring Surgical, you can bring Kalitas. You're not gonna win this game, you're not gonna win this matchup. I do not know, like not with four surgicals. I honestly do not know how you would, like, against a, a normal draw, right? <coughs> <coughs> There's just no way you're gonna do it. All right, off to the last round. This very annoying. Next step, by the way, I also know from Mixmage some time ago. I think he's from Austria. Played against him quite a bit as well. So tilted because of a couple of things right now. Oh shit. Right, this is actually quite important. Because my work phone's close to being empty. And I somehow lost my charger. So I have to Now we're all set again. So basic forest to start things off. And as expected, some random shit cards. Um, let's see. So if we take Duskwatch Recruiter here. And he only has three lands.
So I think the players take a Dusk Watch, counter one Eternal Witness, which we cannot do because of the Creeping Top that, that we played. Yeah, the Witnesses can just get each other back, therefore it's probably not too great. So he's definitely going to play a witness now. The only question is, does he draw? Did he draw a land this turn or last turn, and can go for a collected company? Got back voted druid, therefore now let's see what we can do here in next turn. Damn, I'm so pissed. All right. That is actually quite fortunate here. This might give us the time that we need. Um, let's see. Thoughtseize is a good card. So discard this one, then rise, snapcaster mage, and corsa. Nope. We don't have enough blue for that. Company and witness. That's good. What the fuck is going on here? Why am I typing my opponent's na name right now? Hello. Thank you. So we can't kill Corsair next turn. And take that collective company that he still has in hand. Um, pool. That's actually not too easy. We need to discard two. So Thoughtseize is one. Are we even going to do this? Having devoted to in, in play is just too risky, I guess. I think this might be quite good. So 
feed of ruin as well. So feed of ruin should probably get rid of that tectonic edge at some point. But right now I want to get rid of coarser. We didn't play land yet, right? So if we discard Jace, kill Courser. amazing that's actually not so good <laughs> all right yum, uh, yum, 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 yum. I think I'm gonna keep this up for a second Look here, flip it as we usually do. Okay. Interesting. So this might trigger him to pull the trigger on. Um, yep. Which is great because now we're really getting tempo here. Okay, that is not too amazing. I think we're just gonna hope for a turn that he doesn't draw another land. Um, just because I don't want our Jace to die, as it's our only source of card advantage right now. So this one's definitely going to go after that one. And between Thoughtseize and Serum Visions here, oh. Um, I only decided on Serum Visions because of our mana base that we still had available. There it is. So we still have seven mana afterwards. Therefore, I'm not worried in terms of Nico Bolas if we get there at some point. Right, so that's company. Oh my goodness. Whew.
So since I don't know what x equaling 3 might mean, <coughs> might mean anything of course, but could this potentially be an, yeah, I think just combo wise, is it xls? Yeah, xls. So you could also potentially go for the combo, although it doesn't have a payoff right now. But we know what we're going to draw, so um, I'm not going to take any risks here. The night. The night is dark and full of terrors. Problem is, I'm darker. So um, I think this was the correct play, not even, not only because of probability, because we had two call guns command, two inquisition one thoughties, and any counter spell as an out here. Um, but also, Um, but I would also have done it without a counter magic here. We don't have a solution right now, and depending on what he draws, such as that one. So I wonder what we could get ourselves in the next turn here. Could have attacked last turn with uh, creeping top it. That is correct. But Nico Ball is just too much. So Steadicaster is good. Frigmo is good. Calvitas is good. Brutality is good. Surgical might be alright. Dispel might also be alright. Um, Nimble is certainly not going to be good. Also, don't really want to have logic knots, to be honest. Thoughts is out. This one's going to go. And then this is nine. So, well, one. Too many. Visit of remedies, tracker, tracker, kitchen things. Okay. So I'm just trying to slow him down a little here. Um, I 
think in the long run we might be able to deal with all of that stuff. Definitely want Kalitas, maybe want to fill up Ruin. Don't have that. Don't have that. And then we're just going to pass the turn. Yeah, so if opponent did not have a play there, that would have already been over. Scoos. Actually, um, I want to have one more spin here on our Jace. GG. All right, so a full one, a pretty decent league. I don't know how many leagues I already played in the last couple of weeks that you know could have easily been a 5-0, but we had a dredge player in there. And yeah, other than that, I'm super happy with the deck. Looks great, feels great, just super good. But I don't think there is any chance of us winning against Dredge. Also, Shreemo, by the way, pretty nice addition. Just saying. Yeah, um, leave me a comment below. Uh, like the video if you like it. And yeah, so I'm thinking about canceling the Mana Treasures uh, subscription soon during the coming month. And for that, I'm trying to actually buy the collection here so I can keep streaming and keep on doing stuff. I already sold a couple of cards and there's also a couple of ticks here. Um, so would appreciate any kind of support. Hope you have a great rest of the weekend and see you next week, guys.